Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every single battle pass in the history of Fortnite. And I am not counting Renegade Raider and Aerial Soul Trooper, that is just plain idiotic. Because that would be a number 18, but it's, it's just not. But we're going to go through from Season 2 all the way to season, Chapter 2, Season 8. <coughs> so anyways, speaking of Season 2 being the first off, our the number 17 we have season 2 it's a weak battle pass for the fact that it only has four skins in it if it had more it would definitely be better but it was their first try but i'm not giving extra points for that our number 16 conveniently we have season 3 again i feel the same but i do have to admit they did a lot better season 2 is like f season 3 is like D, mm, C.5. It's like, out of 10, season 2 would be a 2. This is like a 3.5. Definitely above it. Alright, then at, at, that's really low, but I'm just saying, as an example. Like, a 1.5 difference. Alright, you know what, let me just continue. At number 15, we have another battle pass from chapter 1, and it's season 6. Again, this is really lackluster. This is like, Later on in Fortnite, and it's lackluster. Like we got four in season four and five, which I mean, they weren't the best battle passes, but they were better than season. Oh, I don't want to talk. The only good skin is Calamity and Dire, and maybe Desk. Period. All right, now in fourteen, we have the first chapter two battle pass. We have chapter two, season seven. You know, the battle pass just was not a fan of it. Only skin I really liked was Sunny and Rick Sanchez. Beside that. And maybe Superman, it was all right. Beside that, nope, nope, nope. Sloan's hair is a no-go. Um, Zig's too bulky. Chimera's cool, but I never run him. Joey's all right. I used to like him a lot more than I do. And Gugumon is horrible, in my opinion. And then at number 13, we have my first battle pass ever, season 5. Skin's pretty mediocre. Except for Drift, he was above all of them. Drift is a god skin. Okay, enough of that. And then number 12, we have season 4. You know, we binged out seasons 2 through 6 like that. Season seven's a bit further down, like a bit further down. But yeah, these seasons didn't have the best battle passes in my opinion. I mean, it was alright. But I didn't get this one, but I would only use Omega, Valor, Technique, and Zoe nowadays. Which is for the eight, counting the visitor, that I would still use. All right, now number 11, we have another Chapter 2 Battle Pass, and this is considered to generally be the most hated season of Fortnite, Chapter 2, Season 6. The Battle Pass was not, was not it. For Chapter 2 one, I, this, this Season 7 made me kind of lose hope about Battle Passes. Ancient Jones, good. Lara Croft, great. Tehran is okay. Raz is okay. Klux, okay. Rebirth Raven's okay. Spire Assassin's bad. And Neymar Jr.'s, oh, all right. Honestly, Spire Assassin's the worst skin in the Battle Pass, and she's T100, so that's... T100s have to at least be a really good skin to have a good Battle Pass. That's... I have mainly criteria tier one and tier one hundred, and Agent Jones. It's it's another Jonesy. Let's be honest here. All right, um, coming in number ten, we have Chapter Two, Season One. Good battle pass, very like fresh start, very just plain, simple. It's nice. Then another Chapter Two one. We have Chapter Two, Season Four next. Okay, I have to talk about this one. It's controversial, I guess. So everyone loves Marvel. Look, I don't hate Marvel. I just, I don't really, um, what's the words I'm trying to find? I don't watch Marvel. I've never really seen it. And I don't even care. I'm just counting on the skins itself. I'll give you a quick rundown. Thor, eh, bad. She-Hulk, good. I like her. Um, Groot, eh, bad. Um, what was next? Storm was good. And Doctor Doom was pretty alright. Um, Mystique was really good. Iron Man was really good, but then Wolverine was not. 
this battle pass, like, it was a mix for me. I mean, like, it just, it didn't feel right having crossover as a battle pass, so I kind of had to move it down. All right, so we have the fourth chapter two in a row, which is number eight, chapter two, season five. Very nice and simple. Lex is amazing. Reese is, after I got the crystal style, she became really good because those are good on her. Um, Maeve's pretty cool. Condor is amazing. Mandalorian's, he's pretty good. I'd say Blackheart's better than him. Very random thing, but I was comparing them earlier about which one was better. And yeah, I, th- I think that's what I'm going to do with him. I think he, I think that this battle pass is perfect at number eight. And at number seven, oh God, we have another chapter two. It's the final one of the five first week of chapter twos, but we have chapter two, season eight. This battle pass was really kind of good. I was, at first, mm-mm, not for me. But after I got all the skins, it, like, the new XP system I hate. And I just, I got to, like, core, and then I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to stop. Then I used cash in some birthday V-Bucks. And I kind of bought it all. And I bought up to, like, JB Chimpansky from core. And, yeah, I have to say... Once you get all the skins, it's better, I must say. And the secret skin's so good. But that secret skin, but that's the Cube Queen, it'd probably be behind Chapter 2, Season 5. Cube Queen's amazing. All right, finally, not a Chapter 2. At number 6, we have regular plain old Season 9. Oh, sweet Jesus, we finally made it. Um, Season 9 was a fairly good battle pass, I must say. Not best, though. Rocks, really good. Demi, really good. Vendetta, really good. Singularity, wow, that's really good too. Stratus is alright. Vega's alright. Bunker Jones is pretty bad. Sentinel's horrible. That's my thoughts. Alright, then coming in at number five, I'm going to the season there, we have season eight. At first, I hated this battle pass. This used to be my least favorite battle pass, or... I think until, like, Chapter 2, Season 2, I'm like, this battle pass is actually not bad. Not that bad. And I used to hate on it, saying this is the worst damn battle pass in existence. I mean, now I really, really should have thought Season 2 was, but I didn't. Um, Season, uh, what's his name? Season 8 had a really good battle pass. Ember, uh, off the top of my head, Ember, Lux, Hybrid, and Sidewinder were great. Sidewinder, light blue style only. Blackheart was also great. Peely was funny. He's the original, okay? I'm glad to say of the original Peely. Master Keys, uh, I don't like him that much. I would say even Ruin's better than him, and I don't like Ruin that much either. So, yeah, I don't like Master Key, if you couldn't tell. All right, so then coming in at number four, we have... The a winter theme battle pass for season seven. Oh my god, Ice King and Lynx carried this with onesie and Zenith on the sides pushing it up the hill. Powder was helping somewhat. Sergeant Winter was on his phone and Trog pulled it down. That's the best representation going up a hill. This battle pass was really good, although with Trog and uh, Sergeant Winter, mm mm. But all the other ones, six out of eight skins, I like. I feel like I'm missing one. Prisoner, yeah, he was also helping, like, carrying it. So we have six out of eight, I like, for this battle pass, but it only goes up from here. Then at number three, which is the bronze medal of all the battle passes, I have Chapter Two, Season Three. Oh. My God, Ocean, great skin. Sayona, amazing. Fade, awesome. Jewels, great. Eternal Night, top fifteen favorite skins of all time. Aquaman, really good. Kit, you know, not bad. After I played him, after I kind of started to play with him, I'm like it's not horrible. Scuba Jonesy, out the helmet, good. Although I do think it's a boring another Jonesy skin, yes. But. I'm gonna give. If I had to give this battle pass, I'm gonna say I give it a seven out of ten because I'm gonna give like I give a seven out of eight skins. 
because I would give point fives to Jonesy at Scuba Jonesy and Kit. All right, now coming in number two, we have the one and only Chapter Two, Season Two. Okay, this one you're gonna have to hear me out why it's not a number one. Brutus, great skin. Midas physically, Midas is physically and mentally amazing. Meowsel's great. T and Tina, awesome. Sky, still like my top ten. Fifteen, ten, around there. Um. So yeah, but then we have Agent Peely. Another Peely kind of annoys me, but I give him point five because I love his suit. And oh god, Maya. No. Look, Maya was meant to be good, but I made mine so horribly disgusting that I don't even want to talk about it. No, thank you. Yep, um, Maya is not going to happen. Nope, that's a point five there. And then with Adrian Peel, it's also be another seven. But I think all around, Sky, I think Sky, Midas, Meowsles, and TNT and carry it. Brutus partially carries it, and the other two are like somewhat carrying it. I'm going to say Brutus would be like fifth place of all. Oh, and Deadpool carrying it. He is dope. Not as good as Midas, Meowsles, TNT, and Sky, but better than Brutus. Honestly, that battle pass. It's amazing. All right, but now the best one of them all. I'm going to say 50% would agree on me if you have all the skins. At number one, we have Season X. Do I have to explain? Okay, Catalyst. Boom, amazing. Um, Who do we have next? Uh... X-Lord, amazing. Um, Tilted Technique, great skin. Really clean, sweaty, used all the time. Yonder, it was pretty good, pretty good. Not the best, though. I'm going to say Yonder would be like a full point because he's really cool with like the gold crown and all. I love it. Um, Sparkle Supreme. It, you, if you don't know, I love Sparkle Supreme. It's amazing. Not the pop cut, by the way. It's amazing, clean, and just... Honestly, it's better than Specialist. No offense. Um, then we have Eternal Voyager. At first, I used to not like him, but now I think he's amazing. Ultimate Knight's great. Scientist? You know what? I'm starting to like him again. I think I am, which I, that means I'm going to give him a point twenty-five, which is, he's all right. Like, I'd take Scuba Jonesy. I would take everything beside my Maya. Those, like, Agent Peely, eh, I think he's available with Agent Peely. Nah. Yeah, I think I'd give this battle pass a 7.25, which is like 25, 0.25 over the other ones. But I think Season X is like, I know it's not unique, so it kind of like had a, uh, that's why I kind of didn't give him a 0.5, because it's not a unique battle pass, but I can't give it a 10 for that, but I think that, it's done well enough to be one of, like, the most... Okay, season was horrible. Battle Pass was good. All I have to say, see you guys next time. Tomorrow. Goodbye.